hi guys well, welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm sharing with you this herbal tea rinse that i absolutely loved if you're currently nursing your hair back to health or you're experiencing a growth plateau definitely follow this series let's get right into it so now i'm gonna go in with nettle so one spoon of everything so this is nettle i'm just doing this for one use so i don't want to use too much and then i'm gonna go in with bamboo powder next up is sage Next up we've got organic rosemary, got 4.9 grams of protein, so that's rosemary. Next up is horsetail herb, next up is basil. So here are all the herbs, so there's six in total and I am going to now pour it out into my glass container that I'm going to be using and then I will go ahead and measure out a cup of hot water that I have just boiled and add it to my tea. So this is one cup of boiling water and now I'm just pouring it into my mixture and mix it up. I then follow up and add apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of that. Mix it all together again. So now that I've prepped my herbal rinse and it seeping or steeping <laughs> I'm going to now wash my hair so for today's wash day I am using Tresemme's clarifying shampoo which is this cleanse and replenish deep cleansing shampoo and I am going to deep condition with Icor hydrating mango deep conditioner so yeah today I'm just using those two products and I like to keep my wash day simple so I'm going to wash my hair it might take about an hour because I've not detangled prior and I will leave the deep conditioner in my hair for about 30 minutes so I'm going to show you the condition of my hair so I was at a wedding last week and I had a low sleek bun so what you can see is the gel that has flaked and then I took the bun down and then it twisted my hair and banded it. So that's what you can see right now. So hopefully my hair will not be too tangled. So I'm just gonna take these down. And yeah, I think it should be in a not so bad condition. <laughs> Because obviously I, I detangled my hair in sections before doing the, the low bun style. So my hair shouldn't be tangled at all. So as you can see, it's not too bad. Um, I had actually wanted to use the stretch that I have achieved from it to do another style, but it was just too dirty. So I'm gonna have to just do it another time. I'm gonna do another low bun without gel. This is the reason why I hate using gel because you just have to wash your hair after using it. <laughs> but I just wanted to achieve that sleek look. Sometimes it's, it's nice to just go for a different look. So that's why I wanted that sleek look, but usually, I would do my hair without gel. I'm actually going to put a video up in the card, a very old video, I think of from 2018, which was the last time I did a low sleek bun and I did not use gel. And you can have a look at how I achieve that look. 
So as you probably know, most people use this technique where you band the bottom half of your hair first and then you go in and do the top half just to make sure that you get that I don't know what's going on there just to make sure that you get that sleek down look <laughs> look at all that dirt that gunk from this gel yikes that's why I'm actually using a clarifying shampoo instead of just a normal shampoo but I have to say that even though I've got all this gel in my hair my hair is still soft just very soft and moisturized that's because I put a whole lot of leave-in conditioner before and after the gel a lot of oil a lot of um, water and like spray so my hair's soft not dry at all it's just a bit itchy at the scalp so I've gone and taken my hair out and uh, this is it. <laughs> so I finished washing my hair but unfortunately my ring light has broken so I can't continue with the video. It's currently 1.30am in the morning so I've decided to sleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my um, hairball rinse to steep till the morning and then I'm going to try and use some natural light to finish off the video. I've ordered another <laughs> ring light from Amazon. The one that broke, I have used it since 2017 and that was my first one so it served me well. So that's just another £89 just gone just like that. So, But I love what I do so it's it's nothing, it's an investment. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back tomorrow, I've shampooed. I just need to do the deep conditioning and film that and then do the rinse. So see you tomorrow. So here's the tea rinse. I've just left it. It's been a few hours. So I'm just gonna leave it till morning, just like I said. And then we'll pick it up from there. It smells amazing, I love the smell. Yeah, can't wait to use it. So, see you tomorrow. So, this is the next day and I'm just going to use this muslin that I use for my herbs and IV oils to strain. So, I'm going to use one of my silk headbands, hopefully it's big enough. So this is what's left and we're just going to see what we've got here. Just going to take this off. So I can't find any of my essential oils apart from this Clarisage. So I'm just going to add a few drops of that. And I'm going to pour it into my bottle. So I'm just going to mix that. This is the bottle that I plan to use. I'm going to use a funnel. So before I pour this thing, I forgot that I had bought some pH strips from this lab um, last year because I had wanted to start making like hair care product and skincare products properly but then I lost interest so I have all my equipment as you can see this is like a beaker <laughs> that I've got here so I am going to just do the test for um, the hair's pH and it should be between 3.6 to, to 5.5 so we shall see if this is balanced. 
for my hair hopefully it is it says to to dip it in and then check within five seconds if it matches any of the colors on here which shows me what the ph are so it should be between this and here so let's see so it says dip and check within five seconds Well, because it didn't change much, I'm going to assume that it's around four and five. So that's still within the pH for hair. So yeah. So at least we know that this solution is pH balanced for my hair and what I need it for. This is it. All done. So just out of curiosity, I decided to check the pH of apple cider vinegar just to see if what I got was really correct. So I'm just gonna dip it. Oh, it's bright orange. So on the chart, this is looking very much like one and two. And on the pH scale, seven is neutral. One is very acidic. And then the base is 14. So apple cider vinegar is very acidic. That makes sense. So what I got for my hairball rinse, which was um, between four and five, is less acidic than apple cider vinegar, which is what you want. So yes, I'm happy with that. So for the remaining herb, what I did is I just poured water on it because um, obviously you don't want to waste it. And I'm going to seep it again for a few hours and then save it for next week or whenever. I want to do a rinse again so I'm going to um, seep it and then put it in the freezer to use another day so this is the next day Monday um, like I said my ring light broke I have kind of fixed it with some glue but I've ordered another one that is coming today so this will do for now but I know that it probably won't hold up for long and I can't depend on it so I've got a new one just in case this gives up for one day so yeah this is my hair after the shampoo so I clarified and I am just about to do my deep conditioning so this is my hair after the shampooing And then before I go in with my deep conditioner, I am um, just spraying my hair with some water because obviously it's dried out and you want to have hair that's hydrated with some water at least. So the product is, the product and my hair is pliable. So I'm going to separate my hair in two and just go in with my deep conditioner. This is my first time using this deep conditioner by the way. So as you can see, oh. It's very, it's got a lot of slip, it's very light. 
very very light so let's see how it feels on my hair I know it's gonna have a lot of slip already I love it look at that okay it's very light has a lot of slip um, it's got protein in it as well I never miss a protein treatment when I wash my hair um, I try to wash my hair as often as I can but I generally end up doing it once a month because that's just when I manage to fit it in I love it it's got a lot of slip so here I'm just showing you the application of the deep conditioner just so you can see what it was doing to my hair um, this is my hair straight after shampooing and as you can see my hair looks and feels supple it's very bouncy has a good stretch to it and that's all from the deep conditioner even though it wasn't very oily it had everything that my hair needed and this was my first time using it i call naturals is actually a brand that i managed their social media for a few months last year until i got pregnant so it's an honor to be able to try out their products and share it with you guys because the brand owner is such a lovely lady so definitely check out i call naturals if you're um located in nigeria as they have a stockist there and america as well um it's all natural so definitely check them out so this is my hair after the deep conditioner I just love how soft my hair is so this deep conditioner is not oily at all so so that's not too bad I usually like um, products that are quite oily but I don't mind this either way it will also do the job so I'm gonna cover my hair for 30 to 45 minutes I'll come back when I'm ready to apply the hair ball rinse to my hair so see you soon so i've gone deep conditioned my hair and now i am just applying the rinse out i decided to apply it in sections just to really make sure to massage it into my hair instead of just pouring the whole thing onto my hair as i don't think it would um, saturate my hair properly that way so i decided to go in um, do it in sections and i much preferred it this way because i could really see the effects um, of the rinse on my hair um, it felt really soft um, it stretched out my curls and i really love that about it and the fact that it did that to my hair means that it laid down my cuticles which is what happens when the pH is balanced um, for your hair if the pH is more alkaline which is anything below 7 it, it, it lifts your cuticles and then causes you to lose moisture causes your hair to be very frizzy you won't have a lot of shine as you can see in my video here and yeah that's the reason why you need your mixture to be ph balanced so i've gone and let it sit for about half an hour and i am just going to rinse it with the rest oh my hair feels so soft so so soft It just feels like I've just conditioned it again. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna rinse it out with this and then the rest of what I've got and then lightly rinse it under the shower because I don't wanna keep it and yeah, so that's just what I'm gonna do. But I'm not gonna show you that because you guys already know. <laughs> My bathroom is too small for stuff like this and I don't wanna get electrocuted, so. Yeah, I'll just come back and show you the results. So this is my hair all done.
just so 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 soft just look at that very elastic as well very fluffy it's just really relaxed my hair well when i say relax i mean it's made it like like even my edges are lying down so my hair is just very soft and conditioned and i think it's because i added the apple cider vinegar that's what you used to do to my hair years ago and then i stopped using it because i think i was using too much and my hair just felt like i don't know it felt weak and it felt like it was too stretched as opposed to like what my natural texture is so i stopped using it in my treatments um but yeah i'll see how this goes and probably use it just once a month and use it in small quantities so yeah thank you for watching um sorry i look crusty just come out of the shower i am going to now style my hair and you probably see it in the next video if not the next one so thank you so much for tuning in and let me know if you do hairball rinses and how often you do them and what are your some of your favorite herbs to use and i shall see you in my next video bye